कृपा वार्ता कार्यक्रम मन को स्वागत ध्यानांशमो नष्टमो लॉस योबो तन स्ने को प्रार्थना चुनाव तुम नष्ट वाटने देवड़ तिगे इच्छन वे जो प्रेड फॉर हिस् फ्रेंड्स God repaid all his losses. Kastana stamolenunna, pongo sagarule duraina. Kastana stamolenunna. पंगु सागर ले दुरैना आयने मनाश्रय इकुलो ये बंधु आयने मनाश्रय इकुलो ये बंधु रंडी उत्साह गोचे सदमो रंडी उत्साह गोचे सदमो आयने मन पोषकुड़ो नम दिना देवड़नी आयने मन पोषकुड़ नम दिना देवड़नी नीति सूर्युंडाने नित्यमो नो तिंचदमो नीति सूर्युंडाने नित्यमो नो तिंचदमो रंडी उत्साह गोचे सदमो रंडी उत्साह गोचे सदमो आयने मन पोषकुड़ नम दिना देवड़नी आयने मन पोषकुड़ नम दिना देवड़नी नीति सूर्युंडाने नित्यमो नो तिंचदमो नीति सूर्युंडाने नित्यमो नो तिंचदमो रंडी उत्साह गोचे सदमो त्रोव तपिन वारो चेर दी से नादुड़नी त्रोव तपिन वारो चेर दी से नादुड़नी नीति सूर्युंडाने नित्यमो नो तिंचदमो नीति सूर्युंडाने नित्यमो नो तिंचदमो रंडी होवानुगुर्चि उत्साह गोचे सदमो रंडी हवान 
ఘోర్చి ఉత్సాహగానము చేసదము నష్టము లాస్ లాస్ కాజస్ సారో లాస్ కాజస్ గ్రీప్ లాస్ కాజస్ ఫియర్ లాస్ కాజస్ అన్సర్టినిటీ ఆల్ అరౌండ్ అస్ దెర్ ఆర్ మెనీ పీపుల్ గోయింగ్ త్రూ సారో ఫియర్ అన్సర్టినిటీ హోప్లెస్నెస్ యాంగ్జైటీ వర్రీ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ వెరీ మెనీ లాసెస్ దే ఆర్ ఫేసింగ్ ఇన్ దేర్ లైఫ్ yet we have the hope this hope in jesus christ will not put us to shame whatever may be our loss whatever may be the fear sorrow uncertainty anxiety grief because of the losses you are going through you can bring your losses you can bring your burden you can bring your sorrow you can bring your hopelessness you can bring your brokenness nothingness to jesus christ and you will be surprised you will be amazed when you come to jesus christ with your loss he will turn your loss into gain all that you have lost you will regain there is no trace of doubt in this promise all around us we see so many people in loss what is your loss why are you all alone why are you grieving why are you lonely why are you mourning why are you sorrowful why are you full of cares and burdens what is your loss what is your sorrow what is your burden open your heart to jesus christ talk to jesus in prayer in your prayer closet communicate with jesus christ all your losses and you will see a miracle happening god speaking to you as god has spoken to job god will also speak to you who has time to talk to god who has faith to believe in the existence of god who has faith in the power of god we do not have faith we do not believe in god not we many in this world the preacher believes in god there is no other alternative there is no other hope except jesus christ to mankind the jesus christ the preacher has found the hope the che- the preacher has found the source of life the preacher has found the source of fountain of blessings in the person called jesus and whenever the preacher has gone through the terrible pain of loss he used to turn to jesus one reason is he has no one to turn to 
and the other reason is no one can ever replenish his losses except jesus having such an all age right from his young age right from his childhood the preacher practiced to depend on god to depend on jesus by replenishing his losses and god has been faithful to the preacher whenever the preacher prayed for the losses he has incurred for the losses he has gone through marvelously wonderfully god has turned the loss into gain by reaping all the losses that the preacher has incurred of course certain things may take years certain things may take only a single day it all depends on god and his will what do we need is faith in god belief in god that he can turn our loss into gain he can reap all our losses in his own time and we will be willing to wait upon the lord for getting our losses replenished who has patience in this days of fastness men have no patience to wait upon the lord we want everything instantaneously we want everything now itself god can give all that you have lost now itself but you are missing the wonderful experience of waiting upon the lord you are missing the wonderful experience of praying to god in prayer communicating with god in prayer showing your dependence on god showing your reliance on god telling to god that you have no one else to rely you have no one else to depend upon and you are solely dependent on god this is what god is expecting of you god want that we turn to him with our complete heart i have my father i have my mother i have my siblings i have my rulers i have my officials i have my authorities all these things we yield fruit only to limited extent some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we trust in the living god to be always successful to be always fruitful what we should learn is to depend on god this is what the preacher was taught from his early childhood whatever may be his need whatever may be his deficiency whatever may be his requirement turning to god in prayer and receiving from the hands of god what a wonderful experience example is prayer better than precept the word of god is no precept the word of the lord is full of examples and your life and my life will be added to the many examples that are present in the holy bible all through the 66 books of course the preacher has always found that his example is being added to the very many examples in the 
66 books in each instance of loss in each instance of grief in each instance of tribulation trial temptation battle conflict fear the preacher has turned to jesus christ in prayer and experienced wonderful deliverance wonderful redemption wonderful help marvelous help amazing delivery from very many trials temptations difficult situations life threatening situations fearful circumstances hopeless circumstances in times of absolute weakness in times of absolute hopelessness in times of nothingness when the preacher turned to jesus christ for help the preacher received response from jesus christ help from jesus christ rescue from jesus christ deliverance from jesus christ victory from jesus christ success from jesus christ upliftment and development and growth from jesus christ providence from jesus christ and the list goes on and 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 it's endless for all the 40 years this has been the experience of the preacher in walking with jesus christ and the foundation of such journey is faith how can we have faith without listening how can we have faith for having faith what should we listen we should listen to the gospel faith comes by listening in good old days grandfathers grandmothers mother and father will have their little kids on their bosom in their lap on their bed and during the bed time these elderly people will tell stories to the little ones most often the stories from the bible such stories by listening to such gospel such parables of wisdom experience at the very tender age at the very young age what is happening is the hearts of the children are being made so fertile when the so- seed is sown the seed will be bearing hundred fold sixty fold and thirty fold harvest fruit in this young hearts teach the child the way he should go the way he should go he will not depart from the way when he grows up right from the young age right from their childhood we must teach our children the fear of god the children should be grown in the knowledge and wisdom of god in the fear of god that will equip them to face any kind of difficulty any kind of challenge any kind of loss in their future and whatever may be the difficulty whatever may be the tide whatever may be the conflict whatever may be the uncertainty the child when he grows up he leans upon the bosom of jesus christ for help for deliverance and he will be rescued from any kind of tribulation not by strength not by might i will do it with my spirit this is what we have to teach our children faith comes by listening today we see so many people that do not believe in the existence of god why no one has ever told them regarding the existence of god regarding the power of god regarding the love of god regarding the providence of god regarding the deliverance from god in the book of deuteronomy Moshe writes recollects all the marvelous and amazing things that God has done in the lives of children of Jacob all through the 40 years of their wilderness and 
puts them in writing one after other one after other one after other all through their journeys for the 40 long years in the wilderness all the marvelous and mighty things of god deliverance provision responding to prayers in the time of calamity delivering the children of jacob from the mighty enemies in times of uncertainty in times of hopelessness in times of loss in times of fear in times of being lost not knowing the way forward how god has helped how god has guided how god has provided why moshe has to put them all in the writing because people forget a believer in the church a wise woman that happens to be the regular attendee of all the sunday services not missing even one sunday the attendance will be 100% if there were to be uh, 54 sundays in the year that believer that woman will be present in all the sundays all through the year without any break What a consistency. Do you have at least one such word you? Waking up systematically, regularly, not failing even a single day, all through the six, one, 365 days, early morning at 5 o'clock. The moment the clock shows, 5 o'clock. Do you have the habit of rising up and praying to Jesus, praying to God all through the 365 days of the year, all through the Sundays without missing any one single Sunday? Do you have the blessing, do you have the virtue of attending all the Sundays to church? just to give thanks to Jesus Christ for what he has done in your life. There happens to be a believer, a woman that goes to the church regular attending, not even failing a single Sunday. She will be the first in the church. No matter it is, it could be summer, it could be winter, it could be rain, it could be storm, it could be scorching sun whatever may be the tide whatever may be the season whatever may be the climate this sister this believer happens to be presenting herself she will be the first member in the church attending the church all through the Sundays all through the year not failing even a single Sunday and this believer after listening to so many sermons of the preacher, asks the pastor a question. Pastor, why do you repeat quite often? I see that most of your sermons are a repetition. Why is it so? Then the pastor smiles and says, because people forget. <laughs> if you are to be a regular attendee, it need not be so the case with all others. If you are to present yourself early in the church every Sunday, it need not be so with all the members of the church. So, people forget. People are ungrateful. People are unthankful. They turn up to the church on a Christmas morning. They turn up to the church on Easter morning. And again, The air has to, the earth has to make one full revolution all through the sun for them to again come to the church, to show themselves in the church. Don't we have such situations in today's church? 
in the days to come even the christians will not be burdened to will not be tasked even to attend the church because the churches will be closed anyway isu vaarta moya badun pakyame karu agunu yesu raju ga vachu chunnadu bhulokamanta telusukuntaru yesu raju ga vachu chunnadu bhulokamanta telusukuntaru kristavada marva vaddu ayana rakada క్రైస్తవుడ మరువద్దు ఆయన రాకడ కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయుము సిద్ధముగా నుండి కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయుము సిద్ధముగా నుండి ఈ సువార్త మోయబడు వాక్యమే కరువగును ఈ సువార్త మోయబడు వాక్యమే కరువగును యేసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు క్రైస్తవుడ మరువద్దు ఆయన రాకడ క్రైస్తవుడ మరువద్దు ఆయన రాకడ కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయుము సిద్ధముగా నుండి కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయుము సిద్ధముగా నుండి శ్రమకాలం విడు అబడుట బహుఘోరం యస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు యస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు వెయ్యేండ్లు ఇలపయేసు రాజ్యమేలును వెయ్యేండ్లు ఇలపయేసు రాజ్యమేలును భూలోక రాజ్యములన్నీ ఆయన ఏలును ఈ లోక రాజ్యములన్నీ ఆయన ఏలును నీతి శాంతి వర్ధిలును న్యాయమే కనబడును నీతి శాంతి వర్ధిలును న్యాయమే కనబడును యస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు రేప పాటున మారాలి ఎస్ఐ చెంతకు చేరాలి రేప పాటున మారాలి ఎస్ఐ చెంతకు చేరాలి యస్సు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భూలోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు క్రైస్తవుడ మరువద్దు ఆయన రాకడ క్రైస్తవుడ మరువద్దు ఆయన రాకడ కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయము సిద్ధముగా నుండి కనిపెట్టి ప్రార్థన చేయము సిద్ధముగా నుండి బిహోల్డ్ ఐఎమ్ కమింగ్ సో బిహోల్డ్ ఐఎమ్ కమింగ్ సో ఐ హ్యావ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ద వేజస్ దట్ ఐ ప్రిపేర్డ్ టు గివ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ అకార్డింగ్ టు దేర్ వేజస్ లెట్ ద రైటియస్ బి రైటియస్ స్టిల్ let the holy be holy still let the just be just i have prepared the wages for each one of them according to their deeds i am going to come soon and before the arrival of the lord jesus christ there will be a famine famine for the word of god and the gospel will be closed before the gospel is closed before the preaching is closed when we are still in the time of grace man has to accept man has to receive jesus as their personal savior can we work in darkness darkness is going to come can we work yes of course we can work we have lamps has thomas alva edison not invented the lamp 
has adam and eve not eaten the forbidden fruit what is the consequence death can we work in the darkness can we work in the night night is going to come darkness is going to come we can only work when there is light this doesn't mean that literally light and darkness this refers to the kind of rule that we are going to face when there will be severe hindrance severe obstruction for the spread of the gospel for the preaching of the gospel do we have any such restriction now the preacher was told that he was going to a communist country and he should be keeping guard on his lips and he should be tight lipped and he should not preach any gospel but he was marveled the preacher was surprised that indeed the nation china is more democratic than any other pseudo democratic nations that boast that they are founded on truth they are founded on trust is there none except this foreigner to glorify god is there none except this samaritan to glorify god communist country only but there has been no obstruction to the word of god there has been no obstruction to the preaching of the gospel we are a secular nation we have no state religion but we will organize assassinations we will organize encounters we will destroy the mosques we will destroy the churches we will destroy the places of worship professing that they are wise they have become fools what is democracy democracy is the form of government which is of the people for the people and by the people the preacher lands in the nation china he was received with love by his colleagues the preacher comes to the nation china with 400 us dollars that too borrowed from a friend when his livelihood was curtailed when he has no income when he has no penny in a democratic country world's largest democracy if they do this in a green tree what will they do, do when the tree is dry pachimaniki veera laagu chesina edala endina maniki veera em ichu edro kada if they put so many tada cases if they put so many fbi cases if they put so many police cases on a patriot on a citizen that loves the nation what will they do if a person what to be really of course they will not do anything to a real terrorist because they have no guts to do anything they themselves were what will they do when the tree is dry if they do this in a green tree they will only do this in a green tree because they themselves are dry trees why at all they will harm dry trees why at all they will put fbi cases on dry trees why at all they probe the date of birth of dry trees they themselves are dry to the core they themselves are corrupt to the core professing that they are wise they have become fools not even a penny should be given the people of god will be provided in marvelous and amazing ways in response to their prayers oh king 
we are not concerned with your wickedness show your wickedness to someone else show your pride to someone else not to me not to us we have no concern regarding our life when it comes to the matter of truth we are very sure what the truth is we are obliged to prove our allegiance to god rather than to the idol that you have erected in this case we are not obliged to answer you well you can increase the fiery furnace make it seven times hotter or even 10 times hotter if you can make it doesn't matter we will not bow down before the idol you have erected don't we see so many idols money is an idol and the list goes on and on and on and on and on if a person do not bow down and offers flowers to the idols that the pseudo religious leaders have erected they will fold the paper signifying that the neck of the person that was stiff necked in their own sight has to be cut off two sparrows are sold for a penny yet none of their head will fall onto the ground without the knowledge of god so you are more than you are more precious than the two sparrows that have been sold for two pennies do not fear what will we answer to those that have subjected to those that have put so many fbi cases tada cases police cases on you it will happen they will kill the righteous person because he will never oppose them james chapter 5 who are putting all these cases on you are not these rich people of course they will put these many false cases because their end is destruction on the day of wrath of god they will cry lord cover us with the mountains cover us with the rocks we are not able to face your wrath the day of the wrath of the lamb of god has come who will cover us who will protect us from the wrath of the god on the day the rats and the many kind of idols that they have made for themselves by turning godliness to idols they will throw their gold idols their silver idols because they will not be able to save them from the wrath of god rich be mournful be sorrowful because of the wrath that is going to come upon you on the day of slaughter you have accumulated so much wealth under the cot wealth in the cupboards wealth or under the floor wealth how much money got an ill, ill means no one is putting cases on them no one has ever put a fbi case no one has ever put tada case on them because they themselves are dry trees why at all they will have conflict with the dry trees what will you buy the christian the faithful and the hopeful in their journey to the celestial city zion enters the vanity fair it so happened that the vanity fair is erected right on the way to the celestial city from the city of destruction to the city of zion the celestial city on the way this vanity fair is erected all the year long not one day not two days not three days to see muhurtam to see good sign to see good day there is no chance for this poor 
pilgrims the christian the faithful the hopeful because this vanity fair is erected all the 365 days how can they escape them moreover this vanity fair is standing right in the middle of the path and there is no other way and this pilgrims have to and must go through this vanity fair the moment these uh, strangers enter to the enter into the vanity fair they are posed with a question what will you buy here we have the famous italian row which is the oldest of all the merchandise we have this italian row and then we have the british row we have the german row we have the us row we have the indian row of course by then the merchandise of uh, the us and the indian merchandise has not been so prevalent so somehow the author of the book pilgrims progress misses these great nations that are founded on truth that are founded on trust and this day if the john bunyan were to write the pilgrims progress books and the, the edition will be many many more the famous italian row the famous german row and there has been a big list what will you buy here we have gold here we have silver here we have all kinds of riches we have slaves we have blood we have everything you must buy something from our merchandise unless and otherwise you buy from our merchandise we will not provide you way we will not allow you to pass through well we will buy if you are to have truth we will buy do you have anything like truth what is truth we have never heard our ancestors have never told us regarding this merchandise truth neither in italian merchandise nor in german merchandise or in any other rows that you are seeing here we never we have we never had any thing like truth we buy truth we don't have truth there in the vanity fair the poor christian hopeful and faithful were put with so many false cases fabricated cases and accused there has been many accusations on you the pseudo judges interrogates the christian the pilgrim the faithful and the hopeful we have heard that you are turning this vanity fair upside down where are you from where are you going we are from the city of destruction and we are going to the celestial city and your vanity fair happens to be in the middle of the celestial city and we want the way to go to our destination in the trial finally the faithful will be burnt to ashes somehow hopeful and christian escapes from the vanity fair each one of us are pilgrims on this earth and we have to go through the italian fair we have to go through the german fair we have to go through this vanity fair no escape yet like christian and like hopeful irrespective of the many cases that we go through irrespective of the many trials temptations that we go through we have to move further with our eyes fixed on the celestial city it may so happen that some of us may turn martyrs burnt to ashes because of our allegiance to god because of our faith in christ because of our witness yet fear not do not fear to those that kill only the body and can do nothing to your soul we see so many martyrs we see so many 
saints of God that have been persecuted in the past. Yet, Christ is faithful in each one of the instances of these saints of God and Christ has gathered all their souls and they are resting under the altar of God in the celestial city Zion heaven. So, whatever may be the child, whatever may be the difficulty, whatever may be the loss, the loss can be even death. We are not. Christ has overcome the death. You will again regain what all you have lost hundredfold. Loss. Nastamo. Rendi ho vanu gurchi utsaha gana moche sedamo. Ayane mana posha kudu. Nammadagina devudani. Anisamo pradhinchina cho kalugui vulumana kenno. Anisamo pradhinchina cho kalugui vulumana kenno. Randi ho vanugurchi utsahagana moche sadamo. Rendi utsahinchi padu damo. Rakshana durgamo mana prabhuve. Rendi utsahinchi padu damo. Rakshana durgamo mana prabhuve. Ayana daiva mo palitula. Mayana me pedi gorela mo rendi utsa hinche padu damo rakshana durga mo mana prabhuve rendi kruta gnata stotra moto raraju sanni di ke gudamo a prabhu sanni di mo karinchi Ayana mundaram roke the more and you saw hinchi pardu the more Rakshana durga mo mana prabhuve Tandri kumara shudhatma kuno Tagustu tis totra mo kalgugaka Adi uni purdun ella purdun Ain at Lu Yoga Mula now no amen. Rendi Utsa Hinchi Pardo the Mo Rakshana Durga Mo Mana Prabhuve. The Lord is our salvation. The Lord is our refuge in the time of loss, in the time of sorrow, in the time of fear, in the time of agony. Just run to the tower. By name Jesus Christ and you will be safe, you will be protected in your discouragement, in your depression, in your sorrow, in your poverty, in your hunger, in your financial crisis, in your health crisis. Whatever may be the difficulty you are facing, you might be facing oppression, you might be facing opposition, you might be facing up humiliation, you might be facing the valley of shadow of death. Whatever may be the loss you are going through. Just remember this one name, Jesus Christ. The name Jesus Christ is a strong refuge and the righteous will run into it and are safe. How Job was safe in the times of crisis, health crisis, financial crisis, name any crisis, Job was there. Job ran into the tower by name Jesus Christ. Is there Jesus Christ in the time of Job? The answer is positive. The answer is assertive. Yes, indeed. Job himself was desiring for such a mediator. How good it will be if there were to be a mediator between me and God. I will see my Savior alive. Regarding whom Job is expecting, hoping for the Savior, Jesus Christ. Job was in losses. Job was literally in ashes. 
who can ever bear sick health if we were to have cold if we were to have fever continuously our faith will vanish our belief will vanish this is the state of our faith these days he that tolerates he that endures to the point of death only he will be saved to the point of death job was enduring being the son jesus was enduring to the point of death moshe endured to the point of death 40 long years 40 years is it a short span of time uncertainty hopelessness away from his own people in the wilderness in the forest with the animals with the flock 40 years 40 years this is so much for us but compared to eternity this 40 years are nothing compared to the time scales of god this 40 years are nothing this is only a preparation for us to enter into our eternal life the celestial city filled with joy filled with happiness compared to the eternal weight of glory the present day tribulations are nothing so do not be sorrowful of your losses do not be grieving on your hunger do not be grieving on your thirst do not be sorrowful of your homelessness do not be sorrowful of your nakedness nakedness sword poverty hunger ill health death nothing can separate us from the love of god that is in jesus christ paul is not speaking just mere words all this paul has experienced name any tribulation paul was there there is a thorn in my flesh who can ever bear thorn in the flesh if there were to be a small dust particle falling into our eyes then we will see how much painful it is the preacher was there it will be so much painful if a small dust particle were to fall in our eye and it will not come out how much agony how much pain how much sorrow if we were not able to tolerate a small dust particle imagine paul imagine job imagine jesus christ dearly beloved have these good examples have these people as good examples of endurance and run the race that is set before us without endurance without grumbling without rebelling we ourselves have seen those that have rebelled against god how they have perished in the middle of the journey make sure that no root of faithlessness ever grows into your heart and may you, and you may turn away from god in your faith journey be on your own god that roots of rebellion roots of faith faithlessness mistrust on god may not crop up in your heart be careful how many youngsters are turning away in their faith life it is very difficult even impossible to again light their lamps those that have seen the true light those that have experienced jesus christ as their savior baptized and again turning into the world and not attending the church turning into the world and not praying turning in, turning into the world and not reading the bible it is impossible to again light such lamps ari poina na velugu deepamo veliginchumuni premato prabhuva veliginchumuni premato ఎన్ని తలచినా ఏది అడిగినా జరిగేది నీ చిత్తమే ప్రభువా జరిగేది నీ చిత్తమే నీ వాకు కై వేచి ఉంటిని నా ప్రార్థనాలకించుమా ప్రభువా నా ప్రార్థనాలకించుమా ఆపదలు నన్ను వెన్నంటి ఉన్నా నా కాపరి నీవై నన్ను ఆదుకొంటివి లోకమంతయో నన్ను విడచినా 
నేనుండి వేరు చేయవో ప్రభువా నేనుండి వేరు చేయవో ఎన్ని తలచినా ఏది అడిగినా జరిగేది నీ చిత్తమే ప్రభువా జరిగేది నీ చిత్తమే ద లాడ్ విల్ లైట్ అవర్ ల్యాంప్స్ ఈజ్ యువర్ ల్యాంప్ పుట్ ఆఫ్ డు నాట్ బి గ్రీవియస్ డు నాట్ బి సారఫుల్ turn to jesus christ and your light your lamp will be light again job's light was put off job was in sorrow in ashes god will turn your ashes into garden god will turn your mourning into dancing behold i bring for brass gold i bring for brass gold the golden rule g s b i gold silver brass iron remember the g s b i rule everyone in india are familiar with s b i so you can easily memorize this g s b i rule golden rule when you turn to jesus christ your life will be gsbi gold g for gold s for silver i for iron b for brass i will bring gold for brass silver for iron b brass from where from iron for iron i'll bring brass i iron from where stone for stone i bring iron do you have only stone god will turn your stone to iron do you have only wood the poor widow has only wood she wanted to gather only wood god has turned her wood to brass gsbi rule gold silver brass iron this world will turn your gold to ashes if you give them gold they will give you ashes on the contrary jesus will turn your brass to gold isaiah chapter 60 verse 17 ashya grandhamo అరవయవ అధ్యాయము పదిహేడవ వచనము నేను ఇత్తడికి బదులుగా బంగారమును ఇను ఇనుమునకు బదులుగా వెండిని కర్రకు బదులుగా ఇత్తడిని రాళ్లకు ప్రతిగా ఇనుమును తీసుకుని వచ్చుచు ఉన్నాను ఇత్తడికి ప్రతిగా బంగారము ఇనుముకు ప్రతిగా వెండి కర్రకు ప్రతిగా ఇత్తడి రాళ్లకు ప్రతిగా ఇనుము for brass gold 
Parayan silver. For wood, brass. For stone, iron. GSBI rule, remember. This is 100% true in the life of the children of Jacob.